Today I'm going to show you how to make this. This is my version of a midsummer dress. Something light, but a little bit more trashy, which I think is kind of cool. So if you know, want to know how I did this dress, then stick around for the tutorial. Alright guys, so the plan for this dress is to keep things as simple as possible. A lot of traditional Swedish um, midsummer dresses that are white are usually really flowy and like traditionally beautiful, like with long skirts or just, yeah, flowy skirts. That's not what I want to do uh, this time. I want to make a sexy, super tight dress and I want to make it kind of trashy. Um, I was planning on buying a different fabric at first where the top layer was super, super trashed already, but they didn't have that at the store today. So instead, I am going to uh, make this a two layer dress. Uh, the bottom layer is this white polyester, super elastic, which means that I'm not going to be using a zipper. I'm going to make this into a closed dress that I'm going to like step into and pull up. Um, and the top layer is going to be this, also white, which is kind of a net fabric. This has a little bit of elasticity as well, not as much as the bottom one, but enough to make them fit together. So the plan is to use the net fabric as the top layer and to trash this by cutting bigger holes all over it so it gets kind of a more dirty and not so clean and a beautiful look. That's kind of what I like. And it's basically going to be like a tube top dress but I'm going to attach uh, thin strips uh, just to make sure that it stays on. The first step is to get your measurements. We're going to need four measurements for this dress. The first one is the hips, which is where you are the widest, so the girth or the all the way around the hips. The second one is the waist, where you are the thinnest, like the clock figure. Uh, the third one is this measurement, like all the way around above the boobs, where you want the top of the dress to be. And the third one is, uh, sorry, the fourth one is the length of the dress. And I'm going to measure myself and then add four centimeters to each one of these measurements for hemming. Okay, these are my measurements, so what I'm going to do now is lay the fabric out on the ground and cut out four pieces that look sort of like this one. Um, two pieces of the bottom layer and two pieces of the top layer. So the fabric for the bottom layer has now been laid out, folded in half so that I can cut both the front and back pieces at the same time. I have put six pins into the fabric to mark the measurements. So the bottom measures the hip. The middle measures the waist, and the top measures above the boobs, and obviously they also measure the length. It's basically going to look like a big square, and then I'm just going to pin it to my body and like fit it, custom fit it that way. Next up, I've laid down one of the up cut out pieces of the bottom fabric on top of the net fabric, and I'll just follow that outline while I cut two pieces out of the net fabric. Before we can start sewing the fabrics together, I'm going to start creating the holes in the net fabric because I don't want to do that once the dress is done in case I happen to cut through both fabrics then the dress will be ruined. Just using a scissor and just making different sized holes all over both the front and back. Two top layers are now covered in holes, just like big cheeses. <laughs> this is just to take away that clean um, cut. I, I want it to look trashy. So I have a whole bunch of these left that I've cut out. I'm going to save those and see if maybe I can make like a cool purse for this outfit. So I'm just going to leave those aside for now. My camera's crooked. Um, so it's time to start sewing the pieces together and since we're using um, double layered fabric right now the first thing I'm going to do is not what you traditionally do which is to sew together by the sides the first thing I'm going to do is sew together by the top and bottom um, but I'm going to sew the layers together so not the two actual pieces. I'm going to make those now by sewing the two layers together. Like flat like this and then with the other fabric on top. And I want the outsides to be facing each other right now. If you have, you know, an outside and an inside. So 
lay them out. They should match fairly well. And then pin so that you're sure that your pins are stuck together. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing to the other two pieces. Sew these ends together. Then once we flip it, I'm going to have the right two pieces and then we're going to start sewing them together correctly. My two pieces now look like this. They kind of look like freakish big large pillow covers. <laughs> um, but we now have our two main dress pieces. So it's a lot less work from here on out. First thing we're going to have to do though is bring out the iron because we want to make these ends really nice and closed. Right now they want to like bubble up. So we want to press down so that the top edge where the two fabrics meet is nice and closed. It's now time to custom fit the dress. I laid the pieces out with the outsides facing inwards. And I'm going to pin along the long sides and then try it on and then custom fit the pins. The dress is now pinned onto me. It's still flipped inside out and it looks really weird right now. But this is the best way to get your dress to fit your body. And I want this dress to be tight. So it's been pinned to be as tight as possible without being like, you know, choking me. Um, this can be difficult to do on your own. So if you have somebody to help you put the pins in, like after the shape of your body, then yeah, that would be a good idea. But this is what it looks like right now. And I'm gonna gently take it off without trying, without uh, removing any of the pins or you know poking myself. And then we're going to sew it together. The dress now looks like this, and it's time to sew the straps on. So the first thing I need to do is measure how long I need the straps to be. This is my measurement, but I also need to add four centimeters for the actual attachment. If you want to keep the dress like this, as a tube top dress, you can just sew an elastic into the top right here and then be done. For the straps, I'm only using the net fabric. Um, I'm going with a measurement that is three times the thickness, thickness that I want my strap to be. And I like thin straps, so the end result is going to be like a third of this. But you can make, you know, wide straps if you want. You can do like a halter thing too. These are just the ones that I'm going for. So what we do here is a technique that I've showed you before. Fold everything over. Once. Twice. And then a third time. To get a nice clean edge. And then you sew as close, whoops, as close to that edge as possible. So one fold, two folds, and a third fold. So I'm going to sew along this edge and then do the same thing to the other strap. The two straps now look like this. Nice and thin. So it's time to try the dress on again and pin the straps on where you want them and take the dress off and sew the straps on. And then we are done. To get a cool detail, I used some of these leftovers from the holes to turn them into a rose, like this. I just pulled a thread through this whole thing and then put it onto a brooch pin so that I can put it onto my dress or maybe in my hair or onto a bag or anything else just to make it a little bit more flowery and summery. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a slightly different midsummer dress. Um, I really hope you liked it. It was really simple to make and it's fun, always fun having something unique. So happy midsummer and I will see you next time. Bye!